For links to the reviewed content and the written review, see the description below. Some key points of this course. It was released on September of 2021 and is being reviewed on February of 2023. The author and creator is Husky Hacks with TCM Academy. The subjects include malware analysis, sandbox lab setup with virtual box, reverse engineering, report writing, static analysis, dynamic analysis, the Windows API, malware techniques, YAR rule writing, and much more. Some prerequisites I recommend is just having a familiarity with the Windows OS and a basic understanding of using the Windows and Linux command line. And also just a basic understanding of programming. You don't need to be a programmer necessarily, but just knowing the concepts. The medium of this course is video co content, hands-on exercises, and written content. The video content itself is about nine hours long, and the price for this course is $30 on TCM Academy. The Practical Malware Analysis and Triage course is available through TCM Academy and is produced by Husky Hacks. This course dives right into the fascinating world of malware by having the student execute the infamous malware sample WannaCry, which was estimated to have caused about $4 billion of economic losses. Prior to executing this malware sample, the student is guided through a detailed lab setup using VirtualBox, Flare VM, and Remnux. To be able to safely analyze a malware sample, the student is taught how to set up Flare VM on one machine and then Remnux with the internet simulator. These two virtual machines are connected and then isolated from the physical host, which lets a student execute malware and analyze its resulting network traffic. Safety is stressed during this lab setup, including techniques on how to handle malware samples that reduce the risk of accidental execution. After covering lab setup, taking snapshots, going over malware handling, and an overview of where to source malware samples, the main course itself begins. The main contents of the course is broken into four sections, which include basic static analysis, basic dynamic analysis, advanced static analysis, and advanced dynamic analysis. Each of these sections include a challenge that acts as an exercise for the student to practice the theory that was covered, and then also get some hands-on keyboard practice. Basic static analysis involves gathering information from a malware sample without executing it, including interesting strings, the hash value itself, and more. Dynamic analysis is executing the malware sample and observing host and network-based indicators, such as processes being executed and HTTP requests. Advanced static analysis covers the basics of reverse engineering with Cutter, which is the decompiler and disassembler. And the advanced dynamic analysis is used using, using a debugger to step through the binary. Some of the tools covered in this course include Strings, Floss, PE Studio, Wireshark, Cutter, DNSpy, Process Hacker, MobSF, iNetSim, X32 and X64 debug, and writing YARA rules for detecting malware. These subjects are taught with a mixture of theory with a whiteboard approach and demonstrations the students can follow along with. Each subject is covered in a video that ranges from 8 to 20 minutes, which I thought contained explanations that were delivered very clearly. Husky Hacks is a way of breaking down very complex topics that are easily digestible with the use of metaphors, visual illustrations, and easy to comprehend in-depth explanations. And all is right in the world. And once I'm done with saving the cat from the tree, I will return to the pickup eggs function right here. And then I... Although I did think the sections covering the advanced analysis techniques were a little lacking and could have expounded the details of these subjects a little bit more. This led to conducting independent research of the x86 assembly language and concepts like the stack. However, later in the course, I realized this was unnecessary as the right amount of information is given to perform analysis on samples, but not too much that it would change its course into more of a reverse engineering course. The overall delivery of this information is well executed and is a great introduction to anyone interested in learning malware analysis and the basics of reverse engineering. Husky Hacks teaches with a process that begins with covering theory, providing examples, and including an exercise that the student participates, as previously mentioned. These challenges are nicknamed quote unquote boss fights and are a culmination of all the skills that were previously taught for the student to practice. I thought these boss fights were a fantastic way to get hands on keyboard practice to also include challenge questions to help push the student in a direction while analyzing the malware sample. During these challenges, some questions include material that was not covered in the course and forces the student to partake in discovery-based learning in an attempt to figure out the answer themselves as well. During these exercises, one could spend hours analyzing the malware sample. This could easily make the actual length of this course more than double the actual nine hours of video content the student watches. After attempting to analyze a boss fight malware sample, Husky Hacks conducts a walkthrough of the sample. These walkthroughs are very useful and pointed out areas a student may not be comprehending, 
and then go back to study again. I previously stated that the advanced analysis sections felt a little bit lacking, but this actually turned out to be the right amount of material delivered. I realized this while analyzing the advanced phosphite malware sample. Since the student was guided in answering questions that could be determined by understanding the basic logic of the malware sample. Prior, I was attempting to understand each and every assembly instruction, but in reality, only knowing about 20% of what the actual logic around itself is doing could give you about a 80% understanding of the functionality for at least the samples in this course. After learning the fundamentals of malware analysis and putting it to practice, specialty topics and skills are covered. Some of these include patching binaries to bypass anti-analysis, shell cut analysis, PowerShell analysis, malicious Microsoft document analysis, mobile analysis such as Android samples, report writing, and much more. These topics are not covered as in depth as the previous sections, but include many skills that give the student a solid foundation to analyze other malware samples and also conduct self-research to discover new techniques. Finally, the course ends with the final boss fight and course final. The final boss fight is revisiting the WannaCry malware sample that was previously executed after the lab setup to again answer challenge questions. This final malware analysis challenge was a great way to end the course as it is a culmination of almost all the skills the student was taught into one exciting exercise. Lastly, the course concludes with the course final project. This final is to write a comprehensive report on one of the included malware samples or another sample the student may be interested in. The main point stressed on this exercise is to use the analysis skills to deliver content that could be useful for the community, such as a blog post. Again, this is a great way to end the course, similarly to the WannaCry analysis challenge. This lets the student revisit the skills that was previously learned and then write a report of findings, including IOCs and detection logic. In conclusion, this course included everything I was looking for in an educational resource about malware analysis and much more. This course is also regularly updated at no extra charge, as recently as February of 2023, which makes it even more value for the money spent. Husky Hacks is an excellent teacher who uses a mixture of theory, examples, and exercises that leaves the student feeling well-informed. I'm very excited to see what Husky Hacks produces next, and I'll always be checking out his offerings in the future. The scoring system for CyberSec reviews takes note of the quality, education, value for price, and the value for time, and adds up these scores to give it a final verdict. First, the quality was a 5 out of 5 due to it having clear video and no audio issues. Any typos or mistakes are fixed or noted. For education, 5 out of 5 due to the great delivery of content with the inclusion of hands-on practice. And the value for price, again, was a 5 out of 5 due to this only being $30. It's an excellent value for money spent and includes more content that was ad regularly added from the original uh, time it was released. So value for time, again, 5 out of 5 due to the videos being concise and to the point, which makes them feel like they're not a waste of time or just dragging. Uh, and the hands-on keyboard practice is time well spent and it's up to the student's discretion for how much time to actually spend on that as well. So for final score added up, this is a 20 out of 20, which is a perfect resource of very high quality, which is recommend to anyone that's looking to learn this subject. Thank you for watching. For more things cybersecurity, reviews, and the scoring guide, check out cybersec.reviews.